All right, guys, so in this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about the Ammo Inc. upcoming IPO. Stay tuned. What's going on, you guys and girls? My name is Jose. Welcome back to Rico Suave IPOs. If you want to learn everything about the latest IPOs, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, also hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today we're going to be looking at the Ammo Inc. IPO, and yes, Ben, they do ammo right they make ammo and all that good stuff i got the list that i'm using straight from you know future ipos on the market watch list and that's the list that i cover i looked around everywhere guys on youtube and no one is covering these ipos you know in particular there's many videos out there that covered you know broad sense you know ipo but nobody digs in like into the financials and all the uh, news articles and all that like we do over here on rico sideway ipo so make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel all right with that being said let's get right into it a quick shout out to my patrons. Your generosity and contributions allow me to do what I love to do and keep the channel growing, so thank you. If you like my content and want to see more of it, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. I've got three different tiers full of benefits like portfolio updates, private Discord channels, and a one-on-one -on -one phone call. You can now also become a channel member by clicking on that join button and signing up to receive cool badges, perks, and more. All right, so we all know that, you know, ever since the pandemic, ammo and guns and ammo have been flying off the shelves like crazy. Uh, so people are protecting themselves, right? So I thought this would be an interesting video to make. So let's look at the IPO calendar over here on Market Watch. Go down and scroll down to Ammo Inc. It looks like it's going to be listed under the NASDAQ on the ticker symbol POWW. And they're going to be listed for around $2.10. So here's her penny stock that... You could probably, you know, 10x your money on it once they IPO, but we'll see. Let's learn more about it. According to my man Donovan Jones and the Donovan Jones report, right? Uh, Ammo Ready's mini IPO plan. Ammo has filed proposed terms for the IPO for $50 million. The firm designs and manufactures ammunition for a variety of end users and markets. POWW has grown revenue enviably. There's a word there for you. But continues to produce operating losses and I'm concerned over the retail business and the worsening COVID-19 in the pandemic in the U.S. So let's see what uh, we can learn about it. All right, so the company has filed to raise $50 million. The company was founded in Arizona, was to design, produce, and market ammunition and related casings to consumers and agencies in the U.S. Management is headed by President and Chairman of CEO Mr. Fred Wagenhalls, who has been with the firm since December of 2016 and was previously president and chairman of the Action Performance Companies and publicly held distributor of licensed motorsports merchandise. Below is a brief overview of the video of how ammunition is made. I don't know if you guys want to see this or not, but uh, you know, interesting to see how ammunition is made, you know, casings and all that good stuff. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to this uh, article if you want to check it out on your own. The firm acquires customers through direct sale methods and sells through the distributors and direct to larger retailers and law enforcement agencies. According to the article, there is an increase in demand for ammunition. This represents a forecast of CAGR of 3.9% from this year to 2027. Some of the major competitors is Federal Premium Ammunition, Remington Arms, Winchester Ammunition, Black Hills, and more. Their total revenue at the end of September was $21 million and a gross profit of $2.3 million. Now, they did lose right here net income they do have a, a negative net income of 5.4 million dollars which is you know it's a good reason to go ipo they also have a negative cash flow of 3.7 million dollars so it's i find it kind of strange with all the demand right but let's keep reading POWW intends to sell 7.1 million shares of a common stock at a assumed price of $2.10 per share for gross proceeds are approximately $15 million. And here's what I was telling you guys earlier. If this company IPOs around $210, $250 and the demand increases, uh, there's a chance that this company can go easily, you know, to $10 or so and you can, you know, 10 times your money or whatever. But we're talking about penny stocks. There's always risk. You know, OTC, we're going to talk about that in a minute. The firm stock is currently listed on the OTC Q QB as POWW. No existing shareholders have indicated an interest to purchase shares at an IPO price. So here's the problem we have, right? They want an IPO at a different price, you know, 210, and no one is showing interest on this IPO as far as, you know, current. 
shareholders. Assuming their IPO is successful, they could raise up to $132 million. Now here's why this IPO is different than all the other IPOs I already covered. The other ones that they were not trading at an OTC, this one is actually is. And I noticed that when you click on the MO Inc. right here, it's gonna take you to an actual share price of $2.59. And I was like, well, well, wait a second, it hasn't an IPO yet, but it, that's because it's trading on the OTC QB. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, according to Investopedia, the OTC QB is the middle tier of the OTC markets, all right? And lists early stage and developing companies in the US and international markets, just like Emma, right? Companies must meet the minimum reporting standards, pass a bit test, and must undergo annual verification. From here, they can go ahead and IPO into the, one of the two major stock exchanges. OTC stands for over the counter. Over the counter refers to a process on how securities are traded for companies that are not listed on a formal exchange, such as the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ, okay? So over the counter, uh, that's the way that they've been trading. And they've been trading around, you know, $2.59, which is not bad. They're only trying to IPO around $2.10, guys. So a little bit less than that, actually. But we'll see, they're offering 7 million shares. And if they go, you know, if it goes successfully, uh, they can increase that bottom line and they can pay, you know, actually become profitable and not have a net loss like they've been having a $5 million or something like that. So we'll see what happens, guys. Now, according to Seeking Alpha, they actually year to date, they are up 161%. So they continue to increase in value the share price. And I will assume that as soon as they IPO, they're probably that, you know, on one of the major stock exchanges, that price will, you know, go up as well. So here's a, might be a good opportunity to pick up, you know, a couple shares and uh, just double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, sextuple, whatever your money. So, uh, but of course, do your own due diligence. I'm not a, you know, financial advisor. I'm just sharing, you know, information that I find on the internet. I'm just a guy on the internet. All right. So if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Now, guys, all the sources have reported on this IPO as well, including Renaissance Capital, which said that in the last... 12 months, they actually made $20 million in sales right here. So that's not too bad. Also, Yahoo Finance reported on November 6th, yeah, that Ammo Inc. actually completed a $27 million acquisition of Yegaman, a stamping company's brass casing division, which, you know, they'll need to make their ammo, right? But that's pretty cool. They acquired this company right here for $27 million. So that's probably added to their debt. All right, so here we are on their website, Ammo Incorporated, you know, pretty cool graphics and stuff like that you see you can see some of their brands right there streak ops uh, stealth and all that i don't know if i'm gonna leave a link in the description below to this because you know youtube is kind of sensitive with this kind of stuff but uh the website is moinc.com so that's just their website right there all right so i did a little digging and i was able to find the latest s1 a not a1 i looked through it they have an amendment you know that shows a little uh some mergers and stuff like that but this is what we need to look at right here just a regular s1 it, the latest one is, was on november 19 okay 2020 and i'm gonna leave a link in the description below to this uh form for you to check out on your own but we're gonna just gonna hit the highlights okay let's scroll down to the table of contents and let's look at capitalization right here we're looking at cash of 3.4 million dollars as of uh, September 30, 2020. And I like to, you know, double check this with the articles to make sure that everything matches. Back to the table of contents. I also like to look at the executive compensation. All right. We're looking at 300,000, 276,000 and so forth. So nothing, uh, you know, crazy about that. Back to the table of contents. Let's look at the use of proceeds. We currently expect to use the net proceeds for the following purposes. Okay, approximately $3 million for capital expenditures, approximately $1.3 million for research and development, approximately $1.3 million to upgrade sales and marketing capabilities, including but not limited to public relations, advertising, and all that good stuff, and the remaining working capital, all the general corporate purposes and all that. So I really like this S1 because it breaks down exactly what they want to use that money from the proceeds for. So you know kudos for that and last but not least my favorite area of the s1 the summary consolidated financial information and i think it should be your favorite one as well to make sure that everything matches up with everything that we've been reading up to this uh, point so net sales we're looking at 14.7 million dollars in net sales with a gross margin of negative 3.6 million dollars and a net loss of 14.5 million dollars all right so that's in 2020 and i think we read a net loss of 5.5 or something like that but that didn't include all the total operating expenses and all that stuff so there you have it folks i mean you know the company's not profitable wants to be profitable wants to ipo on one of the major uh 
stock exchanges. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you interested in this company? All right, guys, I had to tiptoe around this one because I don't know what YouTube is going to find offensive or, you know, sensitive or whatever. And this video might get be taken down or, you know, strike or something like that. Uh, it happened with GoodRx because I guess it was pharmaceutical. This We're talking about ammo this time. So, you know, it might be sensitive for some people. But it is a company that is going to be IPOing. It's already trading on the OTC, guys. So... Um, it's gonna become you know public for us to invest in it and if you are you know gun enthusiasts and you like your ammo and you think that ammo is a commodity that will increase in value and in demand in the future then this might be a good opportunity for you to invest in it but hey my my job is to bring you the information your job is to decide all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always guys make sure you take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon i bring up the pain rick is always the main I make the market rain like acid rain I invest in best in channel you ever known, y'all I take your girl, your house, your money and leave you broke, son